Ever since the 14th century, people have been using pepper mills to kick up the flavor factor, so they definitely have a well-seasoned reputation. Today, pepper mills come with state-of-the-art grinding mechanisms, and there are even electric models for a truly crushing experience. Freshly ground pepper has more spice than pre-ground pepper, which makes pepper mills a hot commodity. They make the grinding mechanism from tough, hardened steel. An automated chiseling tool carves teeth into the outer ring, making a row of larger ones to crack the peppercorns and a row of smaller ones for fine grinding. This smaller ring is to be the moving part of the grinding mechanism. After they stamp trademark information onto it, a tool etches teeth into it as well. They're designed to grind freely against those in the outer ring without locking together. Thick steel wire now uncoils and travels between rollers for straightening. Then there's quick chopping action as a rotating cutter slices it into shorter pieces. Each one will become a drive shaft for a pepper mill. A tool slims and trims one end of the shaft so it will fit into the inner grinding part. Rolling cutters carve threads into the other end for attaching it to the adjuster knob of a manual mill. Robots install the inner grinding ring on the drive shaft. They randomly select parts for close-up scrutiny. A camera zooms in on the pepper mill's grinding teeth and a computer analyzes their dimensions and general quality. Now it's time to assemble the grinder's outer ring, shaft, an inner grinding device, which they press fit to the pepper mill body. They surround the grinder with a metal ring and brace it with a bracket. They insert a light bulb to illuminate your food so you don't add too much pepper. Then they attach a test motor which turns the grinding mechanism and checks the ball. A few units are selected to undergo a grueling test. They run them for hours at a time to confirm this production run can handle the daily grind. But a pepper mill just isn't complete without its partner, the salt mill. They use stainless steel to make its grinding device because it resists the corrosiveness of salt. Hydraulic machinery punches the metal into dies 10 times to shape the salt mill's outer grinding rings. Here, you can see the various stages of the forming process. The final result is a part with three large jagged teeth in the lower section. They're designed specifically to move salt crystals towards the inner grinding ring. After a computer check, this part is ready for assembly. They install it in the salt mill housing and then insert the inner grinder and shaft. Once the electric motor is attached, this salt mill is done like dinner. For a traditional pepper mill, they sculpt wood into that classic shape recognized by pepper fans everywhere. They insert the same kind of grinding hardware that's used in the electric mills, but the shaft is longer because this manual mill will be quite a bit taller. Chefs often prefer a pepper mill with height because it's easier to use. Once assembled, the pepper mill gets a fill up. Then they cap it and adjust the top knob to a medium grind. Of course, all mills can be adjusted for different sized grinds. From fine to coarse, the choice is yours. It's really a matter of taste.